to it. Fear-mongering is to be expected. Um, there's a lot of people that had a lot to gain with not just lockdowns or perpetual, uh, this perpetual idea or this idea that we're in a perpetual state of uh, threat to die from a virus. Um, as if that is a new phenomenon, by the way, it's not, it's not, um, people died before, um, the Modelo virus 19, that was a thing, um, that people did, um, from viruses. Did you know that even viruses that don't have necessarily a cue, a cure, excuse me, such as, um, viral pneumonia, that's not associated with, um, influenza. Uh, it's kind of weird how just a year comes by and, uh, yeah, we just abandoned all of that, that sort of approach where we didn't require people to wear face masks. We didn't require people to... To, to just have to get jabs um, off of viruses that had a 99% survival rate. But in that, they, um, you know, because places are starting to reopen and you get states and, and uh, locales that are just, people are, tr are starting to just more, let's say that. I don't want to say people are starting to, not in general, but more people are starting to go get on with their lives. So they roll this out yet again. fake news network um in combination with their medical experts you know they always have medical experts um and, uh, that work for them that seem to all have the same damn opinion for the most part and that lockdown's good you shutting down good you cutting, putting a diaper on your face good you making sure you get the jab good here we go how how safe is it to go to the beach remember early on in the pandemic we had this conversation that literally a, a year ago right people are getting arrested at the beaches and all that other bull crap here we go yet again let's see what the fake news network has to say with summer around the corner more and more people getting covid vaccines you may be wondering whether going to the beach is safe is a safe bet even for people who have been fully vaccinated nothing is going to be 100 percent safe just like nothing is going to be 100 percent risk uh the cnn medical analysis dr liana Wen an emergency physician and a visiting professor of health policy and manager management at George Washington, George Washington University, uh, Macon Institute of Public Health. However, beaches are much safer uh, than other settings because they're outdoors. Now, for those of you that don't know who Leanna Wang is, or Le Leanna Wang is, she's the chick that was talking about the dank of the carrot, right? You know, the, the thing that you guys said we were conspiracy theorists for, um, talking about she was the one that was talking to uh, Cuomo's, uh, one of the Cuomo, whichever one that the one who works for CNN, if I'm not mistaken. Um, was it Cuomo? Was it him? Yeah, it was Cuomo, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and she's like, oh, yeah, if we, if places start to reopen, then we don't have the carrot to dangle in front of them. So they'll be incentivized to get the jab. That's the same doctor. That's the same, uh, same, uh, doctors leanna win so the one that said that always check in of course um before you do anything this is this and i think this is more than anything is what wants to be what a lot of politicians have to gain from this approach is what's about to be stated right now for times when you may be ha may have to be closer to people like uh, excuse me i don't skipped over a, a section right here it says always check the regulations of the local government and public health officials a public health office and beach in advance. Uh, the U S centers of that's the CDC has recommended um, because you can't make a decision for yourself. You want to make sure that the government and the regulatory bodies, um, you know, you check in with them, make sure, make sure they, I mean, you think this, this would be universal, whatever, but you, you make sure that you check in with, with your local officials and pe public, uh, your public health officials and everybody else, uh, part of government so they can tell you what the hell to do before you go do whatever it is that you want to do um, just check in i think that's what a lot of people had to gain outside of the financial incentive to do whatever with numbers and covid 19 or the pcr testing and the accuracies never mind that i think a lot of people latched on to this because of that is control um, control and they benefit the most from the control and that's the state because there's a precedent that's been set and that's to me is the scariest thing of it all if there is to th be a thing to be scary about yeah what happened or what has been happening for the last year and this fear mongering is is is, is, is terrible 
But think about it. You've shown them in less than a year, but, you know, certainly over the course of a year, you've shown them, a lot of you guys have shown them that all it takes is just a little bit of fear and you will do whatever it is the government says. What you do in it, you do whatever it is to say. It just got to scare you a little bit, just a little bit. And I mean, this happened to people that claim they were freedom fighters, uh, people that claim to value liberty. We saw this very early on in the pandemic where a lot of, I always rag on you guys because I have to. The milk toast ass conservatives that would follow me and say, well, no, Eric, you got, I usually, I'm usually agreeing with you, man, but you got it wrong. This is different. This is a deadly virus. And I was sitting covering um, data that was coming out back in, you know, from South Korea, even China. That ended up being correct. You say what you will about who this virus impacted, um, how it wasn't as deadly as people were pretending that it was. And apparently I was called crazy. And I was like, oh, no, 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 we have the government have to do this. It's different, right? Right? You you, you, you don't have right to, to spread a deadly virus. So this, this is different. Just two weeks slow to spread. And it turns into a fucking year. Those people had a lot to gain from that because again it, it, you don't even have what, what happens if it's even another virus 90 percent survival rate 94 percent let's say that or anything for that matter see that can do a whole hell of a lot when they have you scared and this is why it is so crucial that when adversity strikes you value you value liberty above all else doesn't mean you can't take a precaution with your individual life, but the minute when it has to be a case where the state has to shut you down or the state has to get everybody on board with this with this whole idea, that in itself should should be a precaution. That should be a precaution in itself. But you have to hold the line and be a value of liberty because the minute that you give them that inch, what have they, they done? 15 days to slow the spread turned into what? You see what I mean? Remember flatten the curve? Yeah, yeah, I remember that too. Back in the days, some of y'all too, too, too young for that, right? That's way before y'all's time. Flatten the curve. You don't know nothing about that. Old school. For times when you may uh, be close to people, like when you visit the restroom or a concession stand, wear a mask. Make sure you, you know, when you so when you, I guess, have to go take a leak, and you're at the beach. Put your mask on. Uh, they say, wear, wear a mask, carry hand sanitizer, w wash your hands. CDC has advised beach managers to ensure that there's enough equipment, such as chairs and other supplies, for visitors, uh, and that everything is clean and regular. It's the fucking beach, man. Uh, uh, however, breaking hand sanitizer and disinfectant spray or wipes will be useful. We know that. If you need to shower or rinse at the beach or try to physically distance yourself others from others, excuse me, or go in an area that isn't crowded. Bring an extra mask. That's the key, guys. Bring an extra mask in case your first mask is wet. According to the CDC, a wet mask is less effective. And don't wear your mask in the water since water can make breathing difficult. Mask can also... <laughs> y'all know y'all I don't know maybe not but maybe you live in an area <laughs> I'm sorry y'all I'm sorry but maybe some of y'all live in an area where you see people like working out with masks this is why I, thought, I always thought y'all was goofy anyway I mean uh, well you sweating and your mask getting like it gets damp and stuff because you could just sit there covering your face and uh, to see people do that, and uh, and I've always even I've always said like early on in the pandemic, even your beloved, I know y'all herald the CDC as if it's Jesus, um, and I was like, even the CDC concedes that you shouldn't be doing that. Y'all do understand that? No, I mean they just think, oh, well, I'm saving lives here, so I'm gonna run outside and and in, in, in hot weather with a freaking mask on because I'm saving lives here, okay? I'm saving lives, sprinting outside by myself 
or jogging outside by myself. Sweat all on my face. God, you guys are weird, man. Distance yourself on land and in water from people that you don't live with. Um, avoid crowds and poorly ventilated indoor areas. Uh, coronavirus commonly spreads through respiratory droplets through close physical contact. So Wynn is more worried about what happens when people leave the beach and end up going to the bar. Hmm. Which is, you know, if you are out on the coast, that is a that is a thing that generally happens to the beach, to the bar. Even if people are distant, I guess this is, you know, definitely with summer coming up or spring, excuse me. Even if people are distanced in places uh, like indoor bars and restaurants, wearing a mask is still the best. It's still best if you might be sharing air. And again, with places like Florida and stuff wide open, I mean, good luck. For lengthy beach getaway plan ahead for what refreshments, meals, what you're drinking, enjoy, and where you'll like enjoy. What? Outdoor restaurants and bars are ideal. Like, to sit up here and uh, and sit up here and listen to, and again, this is the, the reason why they're putting this, this out, just for you guys, just for the context, is because... You know, with spring and uh, spring break passing and then, uh, you know, we're going into the spring, uh, even further into the summer. What you're going to start to see is people start migrating to these beaches, right? Where, um, you know, whether it be with vacation spots um, and uh, or people that just live in that area. And that's what they do. A lot of people, that's just what they do. Definitely in Florida. So they're rolling this out because what they want to do is to make sure that you still understand that the science says that. That it's hard to breathe in, in the water, man. It's hard to breathe. All right, well, all right, let's not straw man them. It's hard to breathe when you have a mask on and it gets wet. You know, it's hard, it's harder to breathe. Y'all understand that the can, the pre- perpetual can is going to get kicked perpetually. There's no going back. Um at the and I'm not saying it's to black people. What I'm saying is to, to for us to you have to understand this doesn't stop until y'all decide this wants to stop. There is nothing that you can do that will be normal, right? That you'll be able to do and it be con- it can you know, perceived as back to normal, right? Why you think they're talking about this vaccine passport? All it is is that the handlers want to make sure that they have they, I mean, they have been foaming at the mouth at this at this situation. They just want to make sure that they have a continue to have the control that they got, you know, when this whole thing popped off after the fact. Right. So what it means is, is, OK, how do we control these people? And what it is that we want them to do, despite this idea of the vaccine. Right. What you think would nullify that. Why do you think the rules keep changing? Why do you think, uh, oh, well, the vaccine, you can still spread it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not so much. You can still catch it and still can't spread it or, or, or you still can spread it with the vaccine. They jumping back and forth on that. They don't even know. All that is is about, OK, we'll they'll be able to if we have them return to normalcy. Right. If we have them return to normalcy, we don't have the control and we don't get the benefit from what we got over this past year. Some people got it financially. The state lacing y'all up. Right. State lacing all up. Some people ain't going ain't gonna to try to get get rid of that. But then in the other case, it's like you have people that, oh, well, they're paying attention to me. Right. They're listening to what it is that I have to say now. They're listening to what I have to say. Uh, um, and this is some control. Like I believe Fauci, for example, I believe this is something that he's basking in right now, where he goes from not a household name to a household name virtually overnight. I think he loves that. I think he's narcissistic enough to, to, to love that where he's like, I will continue I, like good news. What's that? No, it's you know, y'all got, y'all need to keep coming back to listen to me. These people are crazy. And so as long as y'all keep listening to them, they're going to keep, uh, keeping the boot on. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.